What is going on, you bunch of bachabs? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to my new studio and our new house, and holy shit, I still can't believe this is real. I don't even know how to start this. My brain is total mush right now from the past couple weeks. Put it this way, don't be surprised if I don't upload a new video next week, because I need a fucking break after this. Not much else to say, either. I feel like I talked this place up enough over the last while, and you guys just want to see it already. And before we start here, you guys know how much gaming I like to do, so this video is sponsored by Golden Goblin's Idle Merger. It's a free mining simulator merging game with excellent graphics and nice smooth gameplay. And what I love about it is it's not just a casual clicker, it requires some strategy and merging mechanics to keep advancing through the levels. Just be careful, it can get a little bit addicting. Alright, so let's hire some goblins here and start digging some gold. These are all level 1 goblins, and it looks like here we have level 2 rocks, so in order to break those open, merge two of them together, now we have a level 2 goblin that can start digging at that rock. And we can merge two level 2 goblins together to get a level 3 goblin. Oh, we found gold! Oh, yeah. 230 million. That's a lot of gold. Ooh! Yay! Look at those cute little gobby gobbies. Ooh, we unlocked a new card! Scott. These upgrade cards give you all kinds of bonuses and collecting more gold is never a bad thing. And the more gold you find, the more goblins you can hire to dig for you. You can start your own gold mining empire! And there's over 100 different mines to explore and I love that each one is unique. It really makes you think on your toes. What's even cooler is that you collect idle gold while you're offline and compete in limited time events every week against other players and there's over 2 million users all over the world. Get your butts in here and start digging with me. Use the link in my description or scan my QR code to download it. And it's a fun way to support my channel for free. And once you've played it a bit, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about it. Make sure you include the hashtag goblins. Oh, yeah. oh hey, I switched cameras. Sex? Just a little disclaimer here before we start though. Almost everything I'm about to show you is still a work in progress. I think the drums are going to stay where they are. I definitely like the spot that they're in, but we still have a lot of organizing to do with almost everything else. But I guess we'll start with the drums area. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah. I don't know, man. They just look so fucking good with the white wall. I think we're going to leave the wall white. Pretty much everything is the same on my setup, but there might be a couple new things. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still using the classic A longboard pedals. Got the blue Evans hydraulics on the heads right now. Evans hybrid on the snare. Also still using the D-Drum Chrome Elite triggers. These things are great. I definitely prefer these to the competitors. I replaced this crash with a 17-inch thin crash Byzance because that 16-inch was cracking. What else is new? I think the China's new. This is an 18-inch pure alloy because, you know, I cracked the other one. Oh yeah, and my overheads are different now too. These are the Rode NT55s. These are fucking great. I'm also using them as the closed mics for the... Hi hats and rides too. They're fucking great, nice and loud. Got some LED lights to light it up. Yeah. Also got a nice big window here too, but we had these blinds installed, so. <laughs> Scott! And then with the ceiling, this is a suspended tile ceiling or whatever the fuck you call it, and I thought it would be a little easier for me to get the GoPro cables up there. I thought I'd just be able to like loop things through, but apparently that's not how they work, so I kind of had to like tuck it in. Oh yeah, little Johnny sack tucker. Tuck that sack back, little baby Jack. And if you notice, I also have it sort of upside down, so I had to flip it around in OBS. I don't know why, it just looks better that way. Then over here, this is the main streaming camera, the C100 Mark I. I fucking love this thing. We got it on a slider. Hopefully soon I can also get more HDMI capture cards so I can maybe even use this camera as a streaming camera too, just to have another angle for the bunker. And from here, I guess we'll go to the uh, the computer desk area. And yes, my cable management is still pure shit. Shut the fuck up, I don't even want to hear it. Here's my NAS server, four hard drives of backup. It's connected to the network with the TP link down there. Here's the audio computer for the streams. Here's my regular computer. Here's the MSI laptop playing Raid Shadow Legends as always. More poo-poo cable management over here leads over to the desk. I got three monitors now. Fuck yes, I will not go back from this. Oh, beef jerky for bunk. This is where all my editing and my gaming streams and the live hangout streams take place. Also have speakers behind each monitor, just, you know, so when I want to do some mixing, just move these out of the way and, you know, sex. Still using the Elgato key light, bouncing the light off the wall. 
hits me in the face. It's great. And then my main camera in the corner, Canon C100 Mark II. That's my favorite fucking camera. Rode NTG4 shotgun microphone. Rode Procaster. And still using the ever so fabulous Rodecaster Pro USB mixer for all the audio for the streams. The stream deck. What do we got here? This is my CBD bomb serenital. This stuff is fucking awesome. Go to my uh, website, 66ms.com slash discount codes. You can get some uh, money off you. Yeah. Uh. From here, let's go left. Whee! Here's the Donner E-Kit. Maybe this will be the wall that I put the drum heads on. I don't know, we'll see. Here's the couch from the upstairs in the old house. Oh, sponsored by Evans. And yeah, more piles of stuff that we need to organize. Let's keep going. So pretty much this is the side of the basement that we are still organizing. Guitars are over here, some kick pads. Definitely need to put these drum heads back on the kit very soon. This is just all boxes of stuff. There's video games in here. There's the Donner piano. An entire box just full of cables that I don't currently use, but I need to get some kind of cable management or cable organization something. Here's a dehumidifier. Yeah. And this wall over here I'm thinking is going to be the videography and photography wall for whenever I need like a background that's just pure white when I'm not playing the drums. So I got, you know, tripods and shit over here. This is a bunch of cymbal cases and backpacks. More boxes. Oh, trout. Oh, it's the Chimachote action set. I don't know if I ever showed you guys these things, but I bought these, uh, these Metallica thingies when I was a kid. Got them on eBay for like 30 bucks a pop. I thought they would be much bigger than this, but they're not very big. I don't know, they're still cool. Microphone boxes here. Well, I have a lot of PSA ones. And then here's some more boxes. <laughs> it's fucking Jenga in this corner. Here's the maintenance room, hot water tank, more drum cases. Internet box, panel, furnace. Nobody cares about that shit though. But yeah, I am pretty fucking stoked. There is a lot of room down here. Like if I stand in this corner over here, the drums are here. That's gonna be the, you know, photography wall and more stuff. I think we're actually either on this wall or this wall, we're gonna be getting those uh, Ikea storage pullout things. So hopefully a lot of the shit in these boxes will be a lot more organized than this. What the hell are these? Nope. Yeah, like I said, like barely anything is where it's gonna go. Well, I guess the drums and the desk are definitely where these are gonna stay. All right, we should uh, head upstairs, yeah? Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh yeah, and this is also, I don't know if it's like, it looks wood, but yeah, it's like a super heavy duty soundproofing door. So when I'm blasting down here, it's not super loud upstairs for my wife and the Bachis. Let's go. Oh, look, it's a little boy. What are you chodes doing up here? Yeah. I guess we'll start uh, in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Here's the kitchen island, and look at this. The builders gave us a nice little welcoming basket. Oh, raspberry jam, that's great. Pretty stoked we have an island this time. The sink's on the island, nice big sink. Here's the dishwasher. Yeah, not a lot here right now. Gotta have the smokes, though. Yeah. We also got this food pantry here in the corner. Oh, yeah. I guess we have a decent amount of food in here. A lot of this we just moved over from the old place. And yes, a microwave in the pantry. We weren't sure where to put the microwave. So yeah, it's just in the fucking pantry because we got the hood fan there and we didn't want the microwave on the counter. Some of you also might think this is kind of bucky, but I love it. Anti-slam drawers. Oh, yeah. What else we got? The oven, nobody cares about that shit. And then next to the kitchen, we have the living room, but this is another room that barely anything is set up the way it's supposed to be. I'm not sure if this coffee table is even gonna be here. We're gonna mount a TV on the wall. Yeah, I think we're actually getting a new couch soon, so that's why it's so empty. Oh man, it's getting cold in here. Let's throw a log on the fire. Oh, yeah. Nice big back windows here. We can see all the construction going on. And these little chodes, like to just sit here, look out the window, watch all the construction, bark at the workers. Yeah. Scrotum toes. Who's a little baby? All right, moving on. There's the front door. This is a spare room. We're not sure what's going on in here yet. We're probably just gonna hang lots of pictures. There's the front yard. Oh, hey, bodies. What do we got this way, huh? Washer dryer. Nice big garage. It's a two car garage, but we only have one car. So we have all this other room for us. What is it? You waiting for mama to come home? Where's mama? Is she gonna get a pizza? Here's a spare bedroom here. No blinds on this yet. This is the Minnie Mouse I got Carrie many years ago when I went to Disney World. Yeah. Next up, we have the spare bathroom. Oh, a little visit from Skid Marks TV. Here's the master bedroom. We don't have shit in here yet. We're waiting on, uh, you know, something for that. And I never thought I would be stoked on something like this, but we got this big walk-in closet in the master bedroom. And uh, I don't know, I just, I really like it. Got these wire racks in here. Just makes things very convenient for organizing and shit. It's good. Oh yeah, and in the bathrooms, we got this Fantech button. When you press it, 
it's gonna recirculate the air in the entire house. So every time I take a big stinky poop or a shower or we're cooking something smelly in the kitchen, just press the fan tech button and it recirculates the body. Master bathroom. <laughs> Master toilet. Nice shower with a seat on it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, last but not behief. Ventilation for the fan tech thing. You can press the button, it tells you how humid it is in the house. Obviously 48 is not good. And we have the house temperature set at none other than Da -da! It's great! Yeah, you bonkies want to go outside, don't you? Yeah, you want to go take a poop? Oh, yeah. Ah! Why is it gotta be so bonky? And we are the first ones in an actual house on this block. There's still construction going on everywhere else. Oh, he doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. Come on, you little winkies. I think for now I'm officially out of new things to show you, but uh, that doesn't mean we can't have some fun now, right? We've got these spring door stoppers in the house and I have not had these since I was a kid. And I used to always go around and... <laughs> so now's the part where I'm gonna be a fucking five-year-old and go around the entire house and flick every single one. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Let's start in the front. Hey, Steve! What do you think of that? What do we got next? There's one over here! <laughs> Front door. <laughs> Holy shit, there's two on this wall. Jackpot! What else have we got? Hallway. Oh, that one sucked. Here we got a couple in here. <laughs> and another. We got one in the bathroom. Oh, you know! Into the bedroom. Sex! <laughs> There's gotta be more. Yep. Here's one. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Yoda, did we miss any? I'm gonna get you! <laughs> you guys, why am I so bucket? And I think I noticed that they all make slightly different sounds depending on the size of the floorboard that they're attached to. Like this one right here. This is very chodish. It's very smear. See? Not a lot of bass to that one. Hey, Chungay. But this one here, I think this is the longest bass board that there's one attached. So this one's got some good bass for boo. <laughs> and we're still not out of it yet, you guys. We gotta go back to the old house and do some last minute cleaning just to make sure that everything is in tip top condition for the new owner. I guess we'll bring you along for that too, yeah? And we're pulling up to the old house now. Would you look at that? The Bahi tree is in bloom. Yeah. Hey, look at that. This tree was a lot of fun. Well, it's fun to look at one week a year. And then there's crab apples all over the fucking yard the rest of the time. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this little garage too. All our little drawings on the walls. Did you know that my milkshake brings all the Bahis to the yad? What else we got here? Six, four, five, four, one pound fish. Hey, there's John. Uh-oh, hot dog. John smells like fudge. And up here, here's a hidden one. The fisting club. Everybody wants to get into the fisting club. And of course, what I'll miss most of all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, yes man. It is so empty in here now. Listen to this reverb. Do it. Da -da. Last minute cleaning, all that shit. It is so weird seeing the house empty, hey T? Yep. Yeah. This was the master bedroom, and now it's a bucket! And let us not forget this beautiful toilet. I took many magical dumps here. This is actually the toilet that I filmed fart metal on and taken a dump. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go downstairs. <laughs> this was the computer room. We had the drums in here. Holy crap, it is empty. Oh, wow, my lights are still hanging here. We're gonna have to take these with us, yeah? I almost feel like I'm gonna cry, but uh, not! Day. Cleaning out the fridge. Oh, yeah. Check every single cabinet, every drawer. Make sure nothing is left behind. Ah! Oh! We got up here. Oh! Cannot forget the tequila. This gotta come with us. Whew, we have been going nuts cleaning all these rooms. Everything is spotless now. The new owner is gonna come in here to a perfectly clean Lingape. Oh, wait a second. What's that? <laughs> it's one singular pube! But is it a face pube or a ball pube? Yeah, 
Huh, and there's the garden too. I gotta say goodbye to the tomatoes and the carrots. Goodbye to the cutty. <laughs> Guess that's pretty much it then. You ready to go to eat? Yeah. yeah, you know? Leaving the old house, Kara, how do you feel? Mixed emotions, you know? Mixed abahi, goodbye crab apple tree. Of course it's raining too, yeah? Just to make it more sad. Do, 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 do. Goodbye, Yakba! And now it's on to bigger and more bahi things. Yeah? Yeah. So much cleaning today. I can't even. I can't even. And of course, you know, nothing, uh, nothing goes better with cleaning than a motherfucking pizza. This cheese pizza was fucking $27. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? This better be the best cheese pizza I've ever had, Franks. I'm looking at you. Let's try this little corner piece, yeah? I'm just fucking with you, Frank. It's pretty good pizza. <laughs> Here you go, Junger. All right, you guys, I think that's gonna do it for this uh, new studio house vlog tour. Yeah. Especially since today is Friday, the day that I'm filming this, and I gotta get this up for Sunday, so gotta hurry the fuck up. Oh, maybe I should sit down for a second. And yeah, like I said earlier, don't be surprised if I don't upload a new video next week. I still have a lot of stuff to do over here, and the less things that I have to worry about right now, the better. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy our new place as much as we do. I'm so excited to just get everything in place and settled where it needs to be, and then I can finally, hopefully, get a little increase in my productivity. Yeah. I fucking love you guys, and I will see you tonight for the live drumming stream. And this concludes our broadcast gape. Click!